The research that I've done has shown that women in medicine experience sexual harassment, sexual misconduct. I have had women tell me that they were assaulted, that they were pressured into sexual acts. If you do this, then I'll advance you in such a way. Massaging you when you're operating a major operation, why would that be happening? And the stories are really endless. Many men simply don't know. They are shocked by some of these numbers. They are shocked that even one person might experience rape during residency training. The reporting rate is obviously very low, and reports that lead to any sort of corrective action, whether legally or internally, is also very low. Sexual assault, sexual harassment affects everybody. Whether you experience it, or you're an observer of it, or a bystander, nobody wants that in the workplace. I think where we are now in trying to make the workplace a safer place for everyone is to have very frank, vulnerable conversations. So one of my professors used to say, you should run towards fire. So if something bad happens, you shouldn't hide away, you shouldn't put your head in the sand, you need to confront it. Because if you don't do that, you're certainly not gonna get better. If it stays only women trying to change the culture, I, I think it'll be a much longer path. In my ideal world, yesterday, nobody would be experiencing some of the things that we're talking about today.